Hi, welcome to History with Natalie. I'm Natalie Brumer. Today we're going to be talking about Van Gogh. If you like historical and biographical videos, then this is the place for you. Start now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Vincent van Gogh was born in the Netherlands in 1853. He had a brother Theo and three sisters. His father was a minister in the Dutch Reformed Church. The relationship he had with his mother was very strained, with van Gogh always trying to earn her praise. Van Gogh left school at a young age and went to work for his uncle in his art dealership. He taught himself to read and he also taught himself French, German and English so he could sell his art all across Europe. He did very well, eventually being posted to London. In London, his romantic advances towards his landlady's daughter was rejected. Becoming increasingly isolated, he returned to the Netherlands where religious further took hold of him. He even applied to the School of Theology, but he didn't get through. He didn't pass the entrance exams. So then he decided to become a missionary and travelled to Belgium. Around this time, he wrote to his brother Theo that he wanted to become an artist. His brother supported this, even giving him a monthly allowance. He even attended art college for a time. In 1881, he fell in love with his cousin, but his advances were rejected. The next year, he meets and falls for a prostitute, who also had a child of her own and was pregnant with another man's child. After contracting syphilis from her, his family were extremely worried about his well-being and they forced him to leave her, otherwise they would cut him off financially. He had a very kind soul and was easily taken advantage of. His brother Theo took him to an art show in Paris and he was blown away by the art there. It is said that the art scene in Paris made him become a master as his paintings changed when in the city. Before his paintings were quite sombre but now they were much more vibrant. He had a strong work ethic and would paint often. Soon Van Gogh travelled to Arles in France. During this time he was poor and barely surviving and would often eat paint thinner and he also liked to drink the alcoholic drink known as absinthe. This drink was causing hallucinations. It also caused serious damage to his nervous system and his already fragile mental state. After an altercation with a friend, he arrived at a local brothel with blood on his face and handed his ear to one of the prostitutes. He was taken to hospital and then his brother Theo arrived and when he arrived, he saw that Van Gogh was delusional and suffering with seizures. The local people of the town signed a petition to have him locked away in hospital but his brother moved him to the St. Remy Asylum where he would paint in the gardens. During his time in this asylum, he created some of his best paintings, such as the Red Vineyard, the only painting of his to be sold while he was still living. Also the blossoming almond tree, whom he gave to his brother's son, who was named in his honor. After leaving the asylum in St. Remy, Van Gogh travelled to a small town and moved into an apartment above a doctor. This doctor was called Paul Gachet. He would often paint Paul Gachet and eventually his portrait would be sold at auction for a record price. Life seemed to be moving along nicely for Van Gogh until he received a letter from his brother in which he describes himself as suffering financial difficulties. Van Gogh interpreted this as he was being a burden to his family. He goes into a local field with a gun and shoots himself in the chest, but he survives and goes back to the doctor's house. The doctor treats him and his brother comes that same day. He spends time with his brother and asks him to take him home, but that night he would die in his sleep. His coffin would be covered in sunflowers which he loved to paint. Sadly his brother Theo would die six months later and would be buried beside him.
It is Theo's widow, Johanna, who would ultimately make Van Gogh famous. When she came across the Starry Notes painting, she decided to catalogue his work. Travelling over Europe, she amassed a great collection of paintings, letters and sketches. All in all, 2,100 pieces of art. Most of his iconic paintings, such as the Starry Notes, were painted when he was at the asylum. However, it is said that Van Gogh didn't like the Starry Notes painting and most of his works that were made during his stay at the asylum. Van Gogh's nephew set up a foundation in his honour and would later build a museum in his name. Van Gogh is one of the most prolific painters and artists of all time, with four of his paintings among the top 30 most expensive paintings of all time. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we welcome any comments to help improve future videos.